So we've created a tool to describe the differences in the way that teachers reflect on their professional practice. It's called the Continuum of Self-Reflection. And I want to introduce this tool to you using a metaphor. So get ready. Raise your hand right now in the room if you're aware that there is a direct medical link between toothpaste and weight loss. Clearly, I can't see around the room to see whose hands are up, so I'm gonna guess that not very many hands are up. Now, that puts us squarely into what we call the unaware stage. That just means we don't know something. We haven't been taught it, we haven't learned it, we haven't been exposed to it, and there's no value associated with being in the unaware stage. That just means we don't know something, and it's perfectly okay to not know something. All right, so now you trust me. You believe that what I'm gonna tell you is true. And in the last several years, there have been multiple uh, research studies published in medical research journals indicating a strong and direct medical link between toothpaste and weight loss. Some of it totally makes sense. If you brush your teeth um, after you eat, then you're less likely to snack between meals. You're less likely to crave those sugary sweet desserts. So you're going to reduce your caloric intake and it would make sense that you would lose some weight. But there's another piece to the puzzle that's pretty fascinating. They have identified an enzyme in the toothpaste that actually sends a message to your brain that says, we're done eating. Now what your brain does with that message is the cool part because you could have sent the same message by pushing your plate away from you. Your brain sends the message to your body that says, all right, y'all can start processing your food now. So in a sense, you start quickening up your metabolism by brushing your teeth immediately after you eat. Armed with this information, you might stop at the pharmacy on the way home tonight and pick up one of those travel-sized toothbrushes that you bring to work and try to brush your teeth a little bit more frequently while you're there. Now how long do you suppose that's going to last? I know you're thinking about your New Year's resolution. Give it about two weeks, right? So you've entered what we call the conscious stage on the continuum of self-reflection. The conscious stage is characterized by a knowing-doing gap where you know that there's a practice you should be utilizing that would help you lead to a happier, uh, more fulfilling lifestyle, for instance, but you don't implement that with consistency and intentionality. Those are two big ideas, consistency and intentionality. This is the conscious stage on the continuum of self-reflection. So a couple months down the road, you go to your doctor for your annual physical exam and your doc says, I'm a little bit concerned about you. You're carrying around a couple extra pounds and we need to do something to get you back on the healthy train. So you think back to this video and you think, all right, well, maybe it's toothbrushing. So you go and you stop at the pharmacy and this time you don't pick up one, but you pick up six of those pocket toothbrushes and you're brushing your teeth all the time. You got them in your glove box, your desk, your office, uh, and they start calling you Mr. or Mrs. Colgate and life is good, right? You've hit what we call the action stage. And in the action stage, you are committing your brain power to changing the outcomes. The, out the results that you're getting are not good enough and you're going to do something about it. Now, as time goes by and you're brushing your teeth all the time, you start to realize, hey, it's working. Your pants are a little bit looser, you're starting to feel a little bit better. Then you start wondering, well, what else could I be doing? You can't just be toothbrushing, right? So you think about diet, you think about exercise, you try the spin class, that's not very comfortable. So then you go with a, a yoga class and that's cool, that works for you. And then the diet thing, try the South Beach diet, that's not really your style. So maybe North Beach for a little bit, I don't know, you know, mix it up. What you're basically doing at this point is filling your tool belt with tools and you are thinking about which tool is the right one to meet your needs and to help you progress towards your goal. This is what we call the refinement stage on the continuum of self-reflection. Altogether, these four stages comprise this entire continuum of self-reflection. The unaware stage, the conscious stage, the action stage, and the refinement stage. I'm gonna describe it for you in a little bit more detail now.